Okay, the sun's a little bit up, not real hot yet, so it's still the morning time. So, good morning to you. How are we doing today? Uh, in our daily travels and adventures today, we're going to be cutting in the, the furnace exhaust and then our outdoor shower. The outdoor shower is more for the dog because I'll be taking an indoor shower. And I guess washing off your feet. But that's what we'll be doing today, so enjoy your day. These are the teeth on the hole saw, and, and see it makes a pretty nice cut. But when you're coming through it, if you do it too fast, then these teeth will grab, and this thing will go sideways. And before you know it, this is up here like this, and you got these teeth marks up here. Because they're pretty uh, sharp. So when that first hits there, you just go real, real slow. And then it'll get started, and then you can go a little faster. But just remember, until you get that point where it started, you don't go fast because, like I say, I've had it done it several times, these will come out and jump up, and now you got these teeth marks across. If you don't have big enough cover to cover them up, now you got teeth marks, and this is fiberglass, so it's not like wood or something. Uh, it would be pretty hard to try to patch it, so just be careful when you go in. So what we're doing here, this is our, our furnace intake and exhaust. It's actually going to get cut in right here. So this is our first holes we'll be putting in the side of our shuttle bus. And once I get that in, right up beside it over here, this is where our outdoor shower will go. So I'll be cutting that next. And, and I've already went inside and pre-drilled out the two little bitty holes where I'm going to be just to make sure I'm, I'm right. And when you do these hole saws, you just do them real, real light because they will jump on you and scratch. So until it gets like that, then you just barely go. And then once you got a good goes through just like that. <laughs> that's scary. So that's one hole. <laughs> and then the other one, the same thing, you just you start it real slow. Because you don't want it to jump on you. go right in there with some gasket on it I'll use uh, it's a red silicone it's a heat temp silicone so it's made specially for heat so I'll put that behind it and screw that in so there's kind of our first hole okay on the inside where the seats that go down the shuttle bus this rail runs the whole distance both sides and the seats go in here and bolt in so this was right in my way so what I did is just used a, a cut off blade it's for metal it's real real thin so I just went in there and sliced it here and sliced it here and there's a lot of hot sparks so I did have a spray bottle of water back there because there is styrofoam and styrofoam will catch on fire uh, real nasty smelly but it will start burning on you and it burns quick. So just, if you're cutting anywhere near styrofoam or something, uh, this yellow foam don't catch on fire as quick, but your your white styrofoam, it, it'll go fast because because it did turn it a little glazy red in a couple spots and getting ready, so I, I just sprayed it down with water. So just remember that. You, you might not think the white beaded styrofoam will catch on fire, but it does, so just make sure if you're cutting in that, have a little bit of water just to spray it down. That's all it takes, just to cool it off. This is our outdoor shower box. So it's not quite evening time, but hopefully everybody's having a good evening. 
but we're going to cut it in here pretty quick. But before we put it in, we're using this butyl tape. It's kind of like a, a putty tape. And so we're just going all the way around it. I just seal it up so it won't get any water leaks inside. Just kind of put it around it. And as you put it on there, then this got several screws. So the screws will help pull it in real tight too. I guess you could use silicone or different things like that or different a cock that has silicone in it but the one thing with silicone is after a while even the white it picks up dust and it starts turning a little tan and then a little brown so okay so we can take this out there and we'll go out there and cut on the outside so see you on the outside so we're going to cut it with the, they call it an oscillating tool, it's, it vibrates back and forth, you can see it. It's just got the little teeth. I could cut it with my, like a grinder thing, but the same thing if, they're not forgiving if they jump. I mean, it, 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 it'll jump a foot across, and I don't need a bunch of extra lines. So this thing's pretty, pretty sweet. So that way it cuts it pretty, pretty easy, just like that. And then coming up, the same thing. something up and in 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 this thing I measured probably five times to make sure and you can barely see the points where I drill from the inside out to make sure I was in the right spot because you don't want no oops holes okay I'm gonna turn around and cut this way for a minute That's a big hole. <laughs> Make sure it fits. <laughs> a little bit of insulation on the bottom I gotta cut. But that's how it's gonna go in and when I'm all done cutting and making sure it fits in, then I'll take this and wipe it down and I'll clean it with alcohol. And, and then I'll take the paper backing off of that and stick it on and everything. So there's how it is, but I gotta trim a little of this insulation out. So you kind of got the idea of how it's gonna go. Well, I'm done for the day and now I can take my shower. So don't want you watching that. Sun's getting hot. Time to go. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Did you know you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at ACM 
Arts and Adventures.